Part of what makes LG Smart TV with WebOS so smart is the way it connects with other devices. You might be surprised what you can connect. Everything from a smartphone or a tablet, your PC, and of course a Blu-ray player, home theater system, or soundbar. To begin, press the Home button on the Magic Remote. Then navigate to the right until the All Apps array appears. See this tab with the icon of the two plugs? Click on it and launch the device connector. Alternatively, you can push the microphone button on the Magic Remote and say Device Connector. And here we see step one, device selection. We can choose to connect a set-top box, Blu-ray or DVD player, a home theater system, a sound bar, game console, smartphone, PC, external storage such as USB drive, or another box, including a legacy device such as a VCR. We cover cable and satellite set-top boxes in our initial setup video. Let's try a sound bar. Click on that. And in the second step, you'll be informed that your TV's sound out setting will be changed automatically to accommodate your soundbar. Click Yes. Then you'll be asked at which port you'd like to connect it, and you'll be shown a list of available inputs. These include HDMI with ARC, optical, and audio out headphones, plus Bluetooth. Click on the appropriate connection, then plug in your soundbar's cable at the input around the back of the TV. Audio return channel, or ARC, is a two-way connection that can send audio from the TV out to external speakers as well as accept audio from an add-on AV device, such as a compatible soundbar that also streams audio over a single HDMI cable. Optical is a fine choice for digital audio. Just be sure not to bend the cable too sharply because it sends its signal via pulses of light. You can also connect using a portable cable with a mini plug or use the included adapter to switch to RCA type red-white stereo cables. You have a lot of options, one of which should pair well with your soundbar. If you choose Bluetooth wireless connection using a Bluetooth soundbar, click here on sound out settings to enter the sound menu. Then pair the TV with the soundbar by following the on-screen instructions, putting your soundbar into pairing mode and searching for it from the TV. However you connect, you'll want to click down here on the sound test to quickly and easily confirm the audio is indeed playing through your soundbar. If not, double check all the steps you've taken thus far and make sure that the soundbar is powered on and the volume is in an acceptable level. Once you hear the sound test music through your soundbar, click Next. You'll learn about SimpLink, which allows you to control all of your LG devices that are connected by HDMI using only the Magic Remote. To do this, point the cursor at the SimpLink line and click to toggle it on. Auto Power Sync will then default to on, so when you turn on your LG soundbar in the future, the TV will power on automatically. If you prefer, you can deactivate Auto Power Sync by clicking on it, but SimpLink will remain active. Click Next to find out about Universal Control, which lets you use the Magic Remote to operate your soundbar, even if it's not made by LG. You'll be reminded to keep your connected soundbar no more than three feet from the TV and not behind a closed door or inside a closed drawer in order to work properly with Universal Control. Click Next to choose the manufacturer, then Next again to choose the remote type, and try a few simple test functions to make sure that the Magic Remote can now operate your soundbar. Give each command a few seconds to work because response times can vary. If this doesn't work, click on the small right arrow to switch the remote type and try again. Chances are one of them will work with your soundbar. When it does, click Next and Universal Control Setup for your home theater system is complete. Click Next to review what you've done and next once more to complete the device connection process. You can also return to the previous screen to make changes or back to the main page to connect another device. While you're here, you'll also see the addition of this little icon to indicate successful setup of universal control. And for even greater convenience, your soundbar has been added to the all apps extension of the launcher, so you can navigate right to it. You can also drag and drop this tab into one of the first eight slots. You can also access it by simply pressing the home button at any time 
and then clicking on it. Also, this button on the Magic Remote, press it to call up the on-screen remote. Up here, you'll see the name of the device you connected, and this virtual remote control will be configured specifically for your soundbar. Pretty neat, right? And so, in just a few steps, your soundbar is connected and ready to help you enjoy your LG Smart TV with WebOS even more.